Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to a brand new video on the channel today. Today, guys, with episode number two of the Chelsea Youth Career Mode in FC24. Now, thank you guys for the support on the first episode. It did mean a lot to me. And thank you for the transfer suggestions in the comments down below. Now, we do have uh, a fair few that I did add to the transfer hub. I did add all of them. Obviously, I've added a lot myself. Um, but obviously, we've got... From Costa and below, we do have your guys' suggestions in the comments. So I am going to wait until I get scout reports back for every player before I decide to actually bid on any players. Now, a lot of them do catch my eye, so I probably will be bidding on a lot of them, I'll be honest. Um, but we're not going to make any signings just yet, just because we do have a Carabao Cup game against Sunderland, which I will be playing. Uh, I'm going to rotate the team quite heavily so we uh, can use players that we don't really use every game and give players a chance to have a game. So without further ado, we're going to go straight into the series, um, just straight into the episode uh, against Sunderland in the Carabao Cup. Hopefully we can try and win this because realistically we ain't in the Champions League, Europa League or any European football. So the Carabao Cup and FA Cup are the two cups that we can challenge for this season. And then after this uh, game and then maybe another Premier League game will start bidding on some players and hopefully signing players so make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new around here I appreciate the support uh, for the new series and without further ado let's get into the first game of the episode oh here comes Sunderland now Roberts Fana chasing back can he get there oh he's Patrick Roberts has gone round him he squared it oh and they scored Sunderland to make it 1-0. Oh, that is poor defending from Chelsea. I don't know what we were doing there. Cole diving in and missing it. Keeper getting beat at the near post. And we find ourselves 1-0 down against Sunderland. Gallagher now into Broja. Broja, he's done well. It's Broja and it's saved by Patterson. Corner kick now for Chelsea. It's Gallagher, he whips it in. Cole Will's there, he misses the ball. No one's there for the follow-up. Gonna go all the way to Lavia. No one really showing themselves here. Gallagher has into Washington. Lovely on the turn. Into Gallagher. It's Gallagher. No, he just couldn't get through. Palmer now plays the ball down to Gusto. Can he play it inside? Brozier. Gallagher's making that run. It's Gallagher around the keeper. Penalty, surely. He's given the penalty. Let's go. Yellow card for the keeper. That's lovely play from Gallagher. Just edges it past the keeper and he goes down Amanda Brozier is the man to be taking it we're gonna go top left and it's saved for the keeper oh my god no way oh we've got a f we've got a corner gotta get this right Gallagher whips in Brozier misses it oh no Palmer Casado with the strike oh what a save by the keeper again oh my god this keeper's having a Absolute blinder. Gallagher into the box. It's Colwell. Oh, it's missed. Palmer. Colwell. Don't really want my centre back to be shooting from here. Casado. It's Cole Palmer. Palmer. Deflected. Palmer. Oh my god. What is going on? What are like five minutes of play we just had? Rosia. It's into Casado. Move out of the way. Oh my god, my own players just tackled me. What is Washington doing there? What is he doing? Enzo wins it back though. Here comes Cucurella. Gonna need someone to make a run. Washington does. Gonna go back to Cucurella. Don't have much time. It's Brozier. Squares it. Palmer scores in the last minute of the game to make it 1 1. It's Cole Palmer. Off the bench to score the equaliser in the last minute of the game. How have we managed to scab that? Oh my god. I can't believe it. We got so lucky. Oh, Sunderland deserved uh, the win, to be honest. We've played terrible in this game. Brozier squares it. Palmer side foots it. I thought he was going to put it wide the way he hit it. But I'm glad he's got it into the back of the net. That's a great finish from Palmer. Makes it 1-1. And I do believe we will go straight to penalties. Uh, as I don't think we're going to have enough time to even get the ball to have another attack. I mean, unless Sunderland fancy another go. Which, I mean, Patrick Roberts is bursting away. 
92nd minute. Colwell, great tackle. Oh, he's given a foul. 93rd minute of two. I thought he made, I thought he got the ball there, if I'm being honest. Clearly not. Keeper punches it. It's not away. Oh, and it's wide. Oh, my God. Wow. What a, what a game. It's penalties. Oh, my God. Right, come on. Jack Clark against Petrovic. He's got to go that way. No, he's not. Saved. Cole Palmer. He's been scoring them in real life. Down the middle and he scores. One each now. Bradley Dak. I'm going to go this way. Oh, he's gone the same way again. Right. Brozier. He had one save last time. It's Brozier. He puts it in the top corner. Patrick Roberts now. I'm going to go that way. Petrovic saves. I don't know why it was so delayed. And it's saved by the keeper. Oh, my God. Enzo. Oh, was it? What is that? What is that dive? It's Washington. Top left. Oh, no. The keeper saved it. We have to save it. What's the keeper doing? I've dived. I've dived that way. What is that? Oh, my God. What is the keeper doing? What is the keeper doing? I've dived that way. Oh, my God. Penalties. Like, trying to save penalties on this game is so bad. What is that? I can't believe it. I've dived. As soon as he's kicked it, I've dived. Look at... Why, why did he delay? Oh, my God. No. You watch him... The, he, oh, the computer just stopped him. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, we've been knocked out the Carabao Cup in the first round. That is not what you want to see. Anyway, we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Right, guys. Time for our first signing of the save and as you can see on the screen it was going to be Musiala and it is I'm going to try and buy him I'm going to try and throw like Nkunku in there like because I feel like players that we just don't need like he's worth that much and so I'm going to offer like no not that much I'll offer like 50 million as well because that's well over his, like the price Heading nowhere. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not what you want to see. Well, I've given an absolute stinker of a deal. So I'm going to have to redo that one once uh, after like a week or so. That is not what I wanted. Um, that is really frustrating. Pedri. Now, I kind of want... I really wanted Musiala. Wow, that's really annoying. Uh, I, I do want to go in for Diogo Costa. I think I need a new keeper. I don't know how much he's worth yet, so we're waiting for the scouts or scout reports. Adiemi is a really is another one I really want to try and get. So I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna wait for now, and then I'll I'll go in and do some other transfers. The next game against uh, Luton is upon us, as you can see. I do need to change the team again. Um, for like players like Fafana, uh, I'm gonna put Shalaba in. Uh, Cole Palmer's not really fully fit. I'm gonna put Gallagher there. And I'll give James another game. And I think that's going to be the team for this game. We need to bounce back after that shocking cup exit. So we're going to see how we get on in this game. Uh, so let's just jump straight into it. Here come Luton now. Ball whipped in. And it's missed by James. Get at show. Oh my God. What is James doing? What is he doing? Reese James has absolutely stacked it. It's a great cross. But what is James doing? He's gone with his left foot instead of his right. Ganacho, of all people, has made it 1 0 to Luton. Oh no, we're well out of position again. Here comes Ganacho. Paddy Shield does well. It's oh my god, what a save by the keeper, and they've scored the rebound. Adebayo. Oh, it's a great save by the keeper. And Luton make it two. Here comes Madaweke now. Last chance for Chelsea. Madueke squares it to Jackson and we've got one back but we're not going to have enough time to get another one too little too late from Chelsea but Palmer has the ball Palmer does have the ball Palmer down the line it's Cole Palmer Palmer squares it Madueke it's saved oh that was the chance that was the chance to equalise and we lose 2-1 at home to Luton 
Oh, I can't believe it. We should have scored right at the end. I'm going to move on into the next game of the episode. Right then, guys. It is deadline day. And we have got all the scout reports back. So, Adiemi is going to be the first player we're going to try and sign. I'm going to offer just money for this one. I'm going to offer 40... One million pounds. Let's see what they say. Wasted my time. What? He's worth 36. How? Oh my god. What is going on there? Well, I really don't know what to say, guys. I really don't know what to say. I don't I just don't get it. Elise. I mean we we really need some backup wingers because I'm gonna try and buy Elise now. Uh, I'm going to just offer money for this one. I'm going to have to just uh, offer more than what they're worth, I guess. Like, we offer 40 million. Let's see how much. Okay. Probably pay overpaid for Elise, let's be real. But we need that. We need to. We don't really have much depth. You know, apart from our main team, we don't really have much depth. Uh, I'm just going to accept everything that they give us. Uh, we're going to just try and get as many players in as we can. Before the deadline is done, I'm gonna have to go out and try and scout some, like not scout players, but like look for players. Um, let's just give him 40 grand a week. Sign and bonus of a million. I'm sure he'll take that. Yep, happy days. Elise, first signing of the save. And Elise will be either starting or a backup winger to Madaweke. He might actually start for us. I mean, I don't know why they're giving me an F. Hey, guys. Uh, we're going to go Diogo Costa next for the keeper. We really, really need a new keeper. I'm going to offer £45 million. And I might actually offer, like, I, mean, I don't have enough. Sanchez, perfect. And we'll also throw in, like, 30, £38 million. Why, why, let's just see what they say. Happy days. We got rid of Sanchez. We don't need him. And Diogo Costa would be, uh, he'll be our starting keeper for the rest of the save. Crucial because he'll start for us. Again, guys, I'm going to throw so much money at these players. Please don't roast me in the comments. Uh, release cost 90 million. I mean, I'll just accept it. I thought I probably shouldn't have done that, but I'll accept this contract. Diogo Costa, next player in the squad. Now, I'm really, really annoyed that I can't get Musiala or um, Adiemi now because, yeah, they were two of the players I really wanted to get, and now I can't bid for them. Which is really annoying. Um, now, question is, where can Kone play? Just centre mid. I'm kind of tempted to get Kone in at... Oh, Vega can play at Cam. I'm going to go in for Vega. I'm going to offer Nkunku with this. Let's say player swap. Nkunku. Right, let's just submit straight swap. Badia Shill? No, 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 no. Right, who don't we need in this in the squad? Need all of them. Need all of them, that's for sure. I mean, oh, they don't want they don't want uh Okay, that's quite annoying. What about Dargo Silva and then new transfer fee of like I don't know, maybe like 30 mil. Oh, he's, he's not even worth that. What about Thiago Silva plus 26 million? 37 mil, I'll just take it. 37 million, I don't mind spending that for Vega. And obviously, in January, we can try and work out some things. Uh, should we put important or is he going to want crucial? That's fine. Uh, five year deal. We're, we're still, we've still got 103 million, which is perfect. We can probably go after one more big player. I don't know, he's already on 23, so we'll offer 40. Give him a million sign and bonus, and he should be happy with that. 42, all right, I'll just, just take it. I don't mind. Another signing, perfect. Happy days, I will take that every day of the week. I know I might be overpaying, but it, it's deadline day. We're, we're doing a Chelsea in real life. You know, we're just signing players because we need to. Now, I, I really wish I could have got Adiemi because I really do like him in this game. I'm kind of tempted to bring in some, you know, okay, have they already accepted... Is he, is he already left? Okay, so I can remove him. Um, oh, Pedri. Do I bring Pedri in? That is a massive signing if I bring him in. I kind of need more wingers, if I'm going to be honest. Centre forward. Now, I could bring um, Sotano in, but is that a bit of a risk? 
And we've got Vega in who can play in cam. Armor. Now I'm going to go do a bit of research to try and find some other players that I can bring in. Kind of need a backup left winger because Mudrick is always goose. So we're going to leave that for now. We're going to go forward a bit and I'll come back with some more uh, players that I might try and sign. I'll run through them with you. So I'll be right back. Right then guys, I'm going to try and do something crazy. I'm going to try and go for Vinicius Jr. I don't think we're going to be able to because I don't think we're going to be able to afford him. Right, let's add in Junku first and offer 100 million. Oh my god, except, except Vinny Jr. could be coming to Chelsea. Oh my god, this could be insane, guys. Vinicius Jr. to Chelsea. Right, we're going to skip this now. Crucial, which is fine. 260 grand a week is what you want. Am I even going to be able to get him? Oh god. Oh god, please. Please say I can have enough money. On 260 grand a week. I mean, give him 290. Oh no, we're not, we don't have enough. We don't have enough money. Oh, we don't have enough money. Do not have enough money. Oh, no. We could have got him. We could have got him. Could have got him. Oh, that's not good. We're going to go for... I don't know how... Cra Craver. We'll just call him Craver because I cannot pronounce that to save my life. Craver Celia. Right. And Kunku again will offer him. We'll offer 80 million plus in Kunku. 145 million. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Well, it looks like we're going to have to go for some, you know, young players that aren't really. Van Axel Do Donjen. Dogen. Donjen. I'm going to go for him. Or do you go for. Ding Adingra. Oh, okay. I'm going to go for Van Dongen. Axel Van Dongen. We're literally just going to offer like 10 million, I think. He's he's, pretty, he's a bit cheaper than that, but we'll offer 10. We need a backup left winger, and it's deadline day. I probably should have thought about this way before, unfortunately, which is really frustrating. But we're going to have to just... We'll do like rotation, see if he wants that. Just, ah, this is really frustrating, to be honest, because we literally... We just didn't have enough money. We didn't have enough money for... If only we could have sold in Kunku. We could have had Vinny Jr. But, you know, nevertheless, we're going to go in for someone a bit younger. Who can compete with Mudrick. And I don't know... Do I want to sign anyone else? Pedri. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to get Pedri. I just didn't have enough money. Player, like, selling players. Do I want to get Kone, maybe? Bring Co I'm going to bring Kone into the team. Now, I'm going to try offer transfer fee. Let me let me just add in Kunku as well. Because I just want to get players like this out. Submit offer from Kunku. Happy days. I mean, you don't have to spend the money. You spend any money, you just get rid of a player that we can't use in this save. So we're going to now use... Well, we're going to go into contract negotiations with Kone. And hopefully... We can, I can maybe use him in cam, uh, in centre mid with uh, Enzo and Casado. Uh, he wants that as his wage. He'll take that. Happy days. And then that is another signing. And that's probably going to be the last one. Don't think I'm going to sign anyone else. To be honest with you. I think that's, that's probably going to be it. I don't really think we're going to sign anyone else. So for now, we're going to leave it and we'll see. I think that should be enough players for a bit of squad depth. So we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Right then, guys. Balde is going to come to the club. I did do a transfer swap with Cucurella and a bit of money as well. Um, because I did. he went to City, right? And I didn't, no, I didn't think he was going to be available. But I've just put a bid in, just thinking off camera. I just didn't know if I would be able to get him. And... Boom, we've got him. Because I know someone suggested him in the comments. And because I've seen that he moved to City, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to get him. But 60 million plus Cucurella is probably could have been a lot cheaper. But I don't care. We needed to get him in. And we have. 
happy days that is gonna be the last transfer of this uh window we've got a, a bit of money left over in january so for now we're gonna leave it at that and we're gonna go into the next game of the episode right then guys as you can see next game is against forest at home this is gonna be the lineup for the game now we've got one two three four new signings starting for us elise costa balde and kone i don't want to take you to the team management quickly but that's the bench for now as you can see in the reserves, I have done something. Now, I recalled uh, Cassady, Santos, Morea, and also... Is that it? I think that's it. I recalled them from their loans because why not? I know they're on loan, they're doing well, but I'd rather just bring them all now and just rotate all of all these players so I can change in like, you know, different uh, games um, and just use as many youth players as I can. And as many young players as I can. So um, I'm going to put Morea on the bench. And we're just, that's just how we're going to do it. Each game we're going to use different players. See who works well. Who plays well. Uh, who, who will just start different games. So we're going to jump into this game against Forrest now. So let's see how we get on. Lise now on the ball. Into Kone. Into Jackson. It's Jackson who makes it 1-0 to Chelsea. It's another goal of the season for Jackson. It's a lovely bit of play from Elise into Kone, who plays it into Jackson. Two of the new signings linking up well with Jackson, who bangs it into the back of the net for his fifth goal in four matches for Chelsea. And it's now 1 0. Jackson, Elise, you make that run. Oh, that's a shocking pass from Jackson. Elise's done really well. It's back to Jackson. It's Nicholas Jackson, who makes it 2 0. It's another goal for Jackson. Six goals in four games. And there's a lovely bit of play from him originally to win the ball back. Elise with a great pass into Jackson. Who smashes that into the back of the net to make it 2-0 to Chelsea. Here come Forrest. Ball played through. It's chipped over the keeper. And it's in to make it 2-1. I don't know what our defence was doing there. And out of nothing, Forrest have e uh, not equalised. They pulled one back. I don't really want to be repeating myself and saying they're going to equalise because then that means we've conceded again. But we're going to go straight from the kickoff now with James. James is going to go for the shot. Oh, it's blocked by the defender. I'm going to keep the ball though with Fafana. Enzo. It's a shocking pass from Enzo. I don't know what he's doing there. And Hudson Adoy against his former club is on the ball. Can't seem to get this ball back. Hudson Adoy again. Down to the right-hand side. Inside. Banishil has to get there. He doesn't. His ball played in. Dominguez. And it's a goal. Oh, my God. What is going on at Chelsea? I just don't get it. Out of nothing once again. Ball played through. I thought he was offside when I first looked that he wasn't. Barna not following his man. And it's 2-2. Two -two. Here come Forrest now. Saved by Costa. Still got time. We'll play it down the line to Madueke, who's just come on. Into Vega. Roja, who's also just come on. Tackle by the defender. Surely that's a free kick, ref. We haven't got long. 2-2. Two -two. Give it to Fafana. Can he play it inside? Roja slips in Vega. Going to need someone else there. Casado. I mean, Reese James going to go down the line. And he cross it in. It's James. To the back stick. Man, okay. Oh, Bros does not be able to get on the end of it. Three out of minutes. Oh, we, are we going to have enough time to get the ball back up the other end? Morea. Brozier. Oh, Brozier not. No, no, no. And that's a bad tackle. And that's probably going to be full time. 2-2 two, two with Forrest at home. We haven't really had the, the team isn't gelling at the moment, is it? Brozier now. Oh, we don't have time. 2-2. Two, two. Frustrating game. We're going to move on into the last game of the episode. No way. He's chipped the keeper. Oh, my God. Costa. In no man's land. What are we doing there? Oh, what is the keeper doing? He's miles out. And we're 1-0 down to Bournemouth. Here comes Balde now down the left-hand side. I mean, the Chelsea flag's in my way. I can't really see what I was doing there. Jackson. Lovely touch from him. Kone. Kone. Oh, can't get in on goal. 
but not having the brightest of starts in this game once again. We just can't seem to get anything going. Fana now. Can't get the ball back. Surely. Oh, wow. How have Bournemouth got away with that there? Jackson. I mean, we're, we're, we're doing really well in the pressing department, but we just don't seem to get the ball. And, like, teams on they're just outplaying us. Once again, here come Bournemouth. Gusto's done really well. We've still managed to lose it. Solanke, and he makes it 2-0. What is going on? I just don't get it. I'm just playing terrible. We're, we, we're just we're too low down in 25 minutes. Here comes Kone. Jackson's there. It's Nicholas Jackson. And bang, we've made one back. What a lovely bit of goal. A lovely bit of goal. A lovely bit of play from Chelsea. To pull one back. Jackson, once again, he's been banging in the goals for us, even though we're not really getting the results. I mean, it's another goal for Jackson. And it's 2-1 now. Hopefully, we can try and carry on and get another one. Comes Elise now. I wait for that run. Augusto, he's done a lovely through ball there. Plays it back. It's Kone. Oh, he's put it wide. No. Kone, you've got to finish that. Here comes Bournemouth. Max Aaron squares it. Oh my god, we're 3 1 down. Ow, what is going on? What is going on? Oh, it's like Chelsea in real life. We're crumbling. I just can't, I just don't know what to do. Here comes Bournemouth once again. Ball back post. Where is everyone? Oh my god, it's 4. It's 4 1. Oh my god, what are we doing? Where? What, where is our defence? Oh my god. 4-1 down. 4-1 down. Oh, Bournemouth come back again. Hitting us on the counter every time. Ball played across. Just can't seem to get the ball back here. And it's really frustrating to play. Ball played back. Fafana can't get there. Bournemouth are just playing it around like, like they're prime Barca. Great save from Costa. Gusto's not going to get there, is he? Oh, he is. Oh, we're going it straight back to Bournemouth. Played inside. Solanke. Traore down the line. Gusto. Wrong side of him. Solanke. Good tackle from Badesil. Lise now. They'll cut across the pitch. Send Balde down the line. That's a great run from him. Oh, nice tackle from Kelly. And Bournemouth are in again. Paddy Shell misses the tackle. Ball's whipped in. Fafana clears. Elise now on the attack. We've got many options ahead of him, but he's done really well. Elise driving forward. Elise, can he square it to Jackson? Jackson. Vega saved. Elise. Oh, it's saved again. A double save from the keeper. What is going on? Lise, a good ball in. Vega can't get underneath it. It's Santos, edge of the box. Bafana, Santos, Jackson. Can't get past the defender. What is going on, boys? Oh, and they're through again. Oh, Sinistera. He's tried to chip the keeper. Oh, and he has. Oh, my God, it's five. It's 5-1. Five, what is going on? We are having an absolute meltdown at Chelsea. I just don't really know what to do, if I'm being honest. Comes Jackson now. I mean, the game's the game was over at 3-1, let's be honest, guys. Santos. Played through. Elise. Oh, he's tackled again. And that's probably going to be the end of the attack. And we're getting, we're getting hit on the counter way too much, guys. I don't know what. If it's the tactic style I'm using, or if it's just the formation, and he's going to chip the keeper again, and he's going to put it over. And just get this game over with. It's been an absolute... It's just been terrible. Costa clears. Jackson to Santos. We've lost the ball again. And, I mean, it's going to be game over if the ref will blow the whistle. Oh, guys, I really don't know what this has happened. Oh, my God. Anyway, we're going to end the video there and we're going to regroup in the next episode.
I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, the gameplay was awful from me today. I'll be honest with you. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for the support, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.